Hello my loves and welcome to the video. I am on my way to catch the train to Stockholm to spend a week with one of my best friends. A couple of years ago we started a tradition of running half marathons together. It has now evolved to a whole weekend together and we incorporate both lots of delicious food, drinks, shopping and sightseeing just to top it off with the race. A perfect weekend all in all. In my last race in Yon Shopping, which you can see in an earlier video, I did great, but I missed my time goal with a couple of minutes. Therefore, I am super excited to see if I can put all the training to use and hit my goal this time. Since I arrived in Stockholm in the late Friday afternoon, we decided to meet in Gamla Stan to eat dinner straight away. We choose an Italian restaurant called Agathon. Everybody knows pasta is the trick to a good carb load before a race, so that's what we had. Since the race don't begin until Saturday afternoon, we also treated ourselves with a glass of wine and dessert before heading home through the beautiful old city with all its narrow alleys. After a proper breakfast, we went out for a walk in the neighborhood to stretch the legs and get some lunch to bring back home before getting ready to leave for the race. Hi guys! We are waiting to take the train to city. We are going to run the Stockholm Half Marathon at 15.40. We have our starting time. So today has just been a chill day. We have taken a walk and just eating a lot of food, preparing for the race. So let's go. I believe the video can speak for itself. I am so incredibly happy with my performance and also so proud of myself and what my body and mind can accomplish. That I was able to not only meet my time goal, I crushed it. My previous record on this particular race is 152 and I have been training to finish at 150. I ended up with a finishing time at 148. Now let's celebrate. Good morning guys, today is Sunday and we are going to the city to eat some breakfast. We are probably going to head to Mr. Cake to see if they have anything good for us. 
And since it's the day after the race, we are pretty tired in the legs, but I actually feel really good and I'm very thankful for that. I think my friend is maybe having a bit more sore legs, but uh, yeah, overall very good. So good morning, let's go. After a couple of hours walking around the city, we stopped for a coffee before heading to the station. With tired legs but a happy soul, I got on the bus home, leaving with lots of inspiration and already thinking of new goals. Hi you guys! Time is now half past seven and I just got off the bus. So it's time to wrap up this vlog and uh, if you made it this far I really appreciate it and please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of content like this. So thank you all, love you all and I see you in the next one. Bye!